Hello. Hey, ma'am. Sit down and rest for a while if you want. Got a bit of a lady's touch here. Thanks. Nothing like a good fire into the sky, is there? Probably ain't used to finding a woman out here by herself. Guess so. Well, believe me, I ain't scared of much. I can shoot, drink, ride, and speak good as any man. Maybe not as good as one woman I know, though. Goes by the name of Black Bell. Like I said, I ain't scared of much, but if she were mad at me, I'd be scared of her. Possibly the best gun in the whole West. Got a price on her head bigger than Landon Ricketts. Been on the run for 20 years or more now. Killed more men than cholera and heartbreak combined. Oh, yeah? Ah, so you heard of her too, huh? Well, I first met her in Tucson. We drank for two days straight. She told me one time she'd be staying in this cabin for a few weeks when she woke up to shouts outside. Four bounty hunters. Nasty ones. So she calls back, I ain't coming for your pathetic sons of bitches. Tells them to send some real men instead of little boys. And quickly ducks down into the cellar. Of course, they start shooting the hell out of the place. And every now and again, she yells back at them. And they can't work out how these bullets ain't hitting. This ain't much more than a one-room shack. Quick thinking, right? So in the end, they kick in what's left of the door and barely have time to say, where the hell is she? Before, bang, 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 bang! Four shots from under the floorboards, and they're all dead on the ground. Apparently, she lined up all the bodies and nailed her bounty poster to one of their heads. Uh -huh. These days, she's almost a celebrity. Even seen her picture on a cigarette card. Strange how that works. For the longest time, they revile you. But if you're bad enough and survive long enough, they start to revere you. Guess that's America. Well, anyway.